Hey everyone, it's Mariana and let's talk about Split. This of course is the latest movie from M. Night Shyamalan, the director whose comeback a lot of us have been rooting for for a while now and his last film, The Visit, was kind of that comeback for some people. Some people thought it was a really good movie, others didn't think it was that great. I personally didn't like it at all, but I think this movie Split is going to be much less divisive than that because generally the response has been positive. I didn't think it was a great film, but it definitely is a step in the right direction for Shyamalan. It's an enjoyable film and I think we can be cautiously optimistic about his future works, which is exciting. Split revolves around the kidnapping of three teenage girls by a man with dissociative identity disorder, Kevin, who has 23 distinct personalities. He kidnaps these girls for a specific reason that slowly comes to light and of course the girls are going to try to get out of this situation because it is not a good one. By far the best thing about this movie is James McAvoy's performance. He pushes this movie above average and while he may come off a bit silly and strange in the trailer, his performance absolutely works within the movie. Anya Taylor-Joy who plays Casey, one of the girls, is really good as well. I loved her in The Witch last year and she is definitely an actress to keep an eye on in future movies. And those two characters, Casey and Kevin with his multiple personalities, are the most interesting characters in the movie and they actually have a certain amount of depth to them which is really good. The other characters though, not so much, especially the other two girls and their acting, not that great to be honest. I also enjoyed the visual style of Split. There is a lot of really good cinematography in there and it is is generally a good looking film, which is always important, but specifically in a thriller where the visuals can do a lot to create the mood and tone, so that worked well. Where the movie fell flat for me though was the storytelling. It's a pretty average kidnapping girl in the basement type of story, which can be done well, it can definitely work, but Split just didn't have the kind of tension that something like last year's 10 Cloverfield Lane or Don't Breathe had, which Don't Breathe isn't really a typical kind of story, but it still has to do with people being trapped at a location and trying to get out. So that's what I mean. And tension is very important in a thriller. That's kind of the point of the genre. I really felt the two hour runtime with this one, the pacing was uneven, and it just felt too long. I think Split would have really benefited from being shorter. It wasn't really that thrilling or that surprising. It's not a horror film, which is fine, but in case you are expecting that from this movie, it's not a horror film. But also, as far as thrillers go, it's not that thrilling when it comes to the story. It develops exactly the way you think it's going to, and not just because they actually show most of it in the trailer, but also just because the way the story progresses makes it really obvious where they're going with it. Split also is not immune to cliches of the genre, some questionable dialogue, and your usual frustrating actions taken by characters. Characters. Now, there is this whole business with what people refer to as the twist, because that's what we expect in an M. Night Shyamalan movie, and don't worry, I'm not going to tell you what it is, I'm not going to ruin it for you in case you haven't seen the movie yet, so you can keep watching. All I have to say about this is that it seems to have elevated this film for quite a few people, which I can't really relate to for some reason. Sure, it does make some things about this movie make more sense, but it just didn't do all that much for me. My reaction to that was just kind of like, oh, okay, well, that's a thing now. So in the end, Split is a reasonably entertaining movie and it's worth seeing for James McAvoy alone, who did make it an above average movie for me. Obviously, if you're a fan of M. Night Shyamalan, you are most likely going to enjoy it. The way I see it, this is an okay movie with two great performances and really good visual style, but lacking in storytelling and thrills or tension, which are some of the most important things things when it comes to a good thriller. So 
three out of five stars from me, which is a positive rating on my channel in case you're new here. I know some people treat anything under four stars as a dislike, but that's not how I do things, just so you know. This was an entertaining and enjoyable film, and it definitely was an improvement from The Visit, but it's not really anything mind-blowing. So that's it for my review of Split, my first movie review of 2017, and for our January film, this is definitely solid. Let me know if you have seen this movie already and what did you think of it in the comments below. And also let me know what your favorite M. Night Shyamalan movie is. Mine is definitely The Sixth Sense and that was actually the first movie I saw in theater, the first movie I saw on the big screen. It scared the hell out of me because I was pretty young and um, yeah, I have a personal connection to that one. But let me know what yours is. I'm feeling that a lot of people are going to say the same thing, but you never know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching as always. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!